Gunner, Patrick Melton, Leonard Mayer, Patrick. A little upset tonight. You guys uh, might know what I'm upset about. You guys heard any news about Playboy lately? No? They're doing a uh, new feature in the new magazine called The Women of Walmart. Walmart. I thought I had low standards. <laughs> I don't know what they could print on the magazine cover to make me buy this magazine. Seriously. Edna from Housewares reveals all inside. Mm -hmm. See what she's been hiding behind that blue may I help you best. And I wonder, are they going to take the pictures right there in the store? Going back to uh, electronics by the big wall of alarm clocks? You got Mildred from Layaway? That poor photographer. He's gonna be going, that's all right, just leave the name tag on. You're fine, right there, it's perfect. Golly. And what's with all the elderly security guards at Walmart? I'm not, I'm not talking about the guys driving around the little golf cart with the flashing siren thing on it. I'm talking about the ladies at the door. They call them greeters, but they're security guards. And we used to call them dot Nazis. Does anybody know why? Because if you've ever tried to return anything to Walmart before, before you're allowed in the store, you got to get a green dot on it. So I go in with the CD and get a green dot on it, and I take it off and stick it on a TV. <laughs> Walk out the door. I'm walking, I'm walking out the door. Easy. Yeah. I remember what it was like when I had my first beer, too. So I'm walking out the door, and she's like, she's like, didn't you come in here with a CD? I'm like, no, check the dot. TV, right there. <laughs> but, but even better, they sell the dots right there in the store. You can go over to the stationary aisle, pick up a package of the dots. I like to buy the dots and stick it on the item I'm returning before I get to the store. That really throws me for you. You get there, they're like, oh. <laughs> I was told, I was supposed to put the dot on there. They're so confused. We used to make a game of it back in college. We'd try to get in the store to return something without actually getting a dot on the item. We'd hide, you know, you'd hide around the corner. You're like, I'll tell you when. She's standing there with a dot gun. You know, I think it comes out of a holster. She's standing there when she doesn't have anything to do. Just, it's like the showdown at the low price corral. She's like, I'm away to all by, it's crazy. So I'm sitting there, and we, and she, I'll tell you when to go. She's busy with the carts, go, 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 go. You run in the door, and if you got up to the customer service counter without a dot on the item, they didn't believe it. They thought you wouldn't get it off the shelf. But that's a good thing about Walmart, you can return anything. You guys, there's not a person in this room that hasn't returned something to Walmart. You know what I'm talking about? You can be the biggest, dirtiest, smelliest, seven-toed redneck, and walk into Walmart. Anybody from Pasco County here? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Who's in Pasco County? Some of you guys came to town for supplies tonight, I know. That's right. So you walk in there with a microwave and you're like, I got this microwave. It just stopped working last night. It's only seven years old. And they'll just, yeah, go get another one off the shelf, no problem. But Walmart's better than Best Buy Security, because Best Buy Security is insane. You got the two guys up front who always know what they're doing, looking over your receipts, checking little TV monitors, security cameras. I walked out the door with some movies the other day. You know, they forgot to deactivate the little magnetic strip things they put on everything in the store. So the guy looks at me like this, he goes, What's in the bag? I got some DVDs. He goes, hey, just go. <laughs> so I went back inside and got a washer and dryer. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.